Hi, you're watching the Jack's Life channel, and thanks for watching. As promised, uh, today is uh, actually Friday, uh, July 22nd, 2011, and here I am, uh, beautiful downtown Jacksonville. Uh, I'll just go ahead and do a panorama. Uh, you'll see the um, what was the Independent Life Building, then it became the Modus Building, now it's be the um, Wells Fargo Building, Main Street Bridge, Hyatt, and of course Friendship Fountain. Friendship Fountain was uh, built in 1965, just recently renovated. This building over here used to be called the Hilton, and I think it's Crown Plaza Hotel. And then this is used to be the Golf Life Building, now it's the Replace Tower. As a uh, student uh, back in, you know, public school, elementary, junior high, uh, we'd come down to the museum. This is a kind of neat little feature. You can climb up to the top and look out. Prudential building. And the museum is tucked in behind, uh, behind the trees over here. The Etna building used to be the old Prudential building. This is one of the first uh, skyscrapers built in uh, Jacksonville. The new Acosta, new Acosta Bridge. And through the trees, the, uh, the old Atlantic, I guess Atlantic Seaboard building, now CSX. Jacksonville's done a lot on the river uh, to uh, encourage people to uh, come down and check out the sights. It's a good day. Uh, glad I got ahead of the rain. So I'm going to get on down here to the uh, to the river walk. Actually, the river walk itself is actually just to the east of here, just where the um, where the uh, old Pelton is. So up here is more kind of like a, a modern um, concrete. The uh, the river walk on the other side is uh, at least when I used to walk along it was um, was wood. Jacksonville Landing opened in 1987. Uh, I think I went there the first week or two it opened. Had some upscale stores. Yeah, it's a little bit different now. Omni Hotel. What was called the Civic Auditorium, now it's the um, Times Union Center for Performing Arts. The bb and used to be the Atlantic bank building, and then the AT&T building, uh, it used to be called Southern Bell building, and uh, one of my neighbors in Arlington named Pete worked on the building and the construction. I remember the uh, burgers going up, uh, so that's kind of neat. Federal building, better view of the, uh, the new Acosta Bridge, kind of interesting, still kind of got some marina aspects. Not as many boats at the landing, but a good, uh, looks like a nice little marine over here. One of the older structures, just past this post here, if I can get it past it. The um, aqua green brick building behind the Hyatt is uh, the old city hall. An actual house down, down the way here. And if you get close enough to it in the mornings, you will smell coffee. And 
And if you take a look at the, um, if you take a look over here at the, past the independent, or what I call the independent life and I guess you always call it what it was when you knew it as a kid, uh, you'll see the, uh, this past there is the JEA building, which used to be called the Charter Building, between the independent and uh, the American Heritage, well, used to be the American Heritage Life Building. I guess I know the names of almost all these buildings. Uh, it's kind of like that um, that uh, that song by Jefferson Starship of Delta City because the corporate, corporation names are always changing. And apparently that's the case because I'm here and I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't think any of the original names are even on any of these buildings except, I guess you call that old city hall over there. Everything else has changed. The river's beautiful and the weather's pretty good. I'll be able to I'll spray off the, uh, the fountain here, so I'm going to move before I get my camera wet. But uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of wind, a little bit of breeze, so it's not as hot. And uh, the Skyway Express going over the Acosta.